out there uh, celebrating and hey at least it's rain basically held off huh guys yeah. exactly right. yeah it was no a nice day. absolutely the timing really couldn't have been better it was like around dark this uh the rain moved in but guys it's been pouring out last oh, night my goodness what a ride in yeah oh, I definitely can not the best ride in today <laughs> absolutely huge puddles on the roadways the rain coming down but also the timing with the rain moving out is lining up with our morning commute we're still dealing with some areas that are dealing with heavy rain now but not for long now, don't get me wrong, it's still going to be damp and, and misty and kind of drizzly as we go through the morning, but the real heavy stuff is starting to wind down. In fact, it's done in Springfield right now. Temperature 46, dew point 46, so temp and dew point are matching, giving us a relative humidity of 100%, so there may be some areas of fog out there as well, but for the most part, visibilities haven't been too bad. It's just the simple fact that the roads are wet, some uh, sizable puddles out on the roadways as well. Notice up and down Interstate 91, a lot of the rain now has shifted off to the east, still pouring out in Ware, Warren, Belchertown. Uh, in parts of Palmer too, but this is going to be out in into Worcester County probably in the next 15 minutes or so as the back edge of this heavy rain is scooting right along. But we have picked up quite a bit of rainfall over an inch in some spots, particularly in Hamden and Hampshire County since it began uh, last night. Off to the north and west, not quite as much. So another good soaking of rain overnight last night. And today will slowly dry out. So the steady rain is moving out now, but pockets of drizzle will linger and then skies brighten as we go into the afternoon. Temps in the 40s now, so as the kids are heading to the bus stop, it'll be damp, there'll be some drizzle around, temperatures in the low to mid 40s as they're heading home. I think we're drying out, but the clouds will have a tendency to linger, maybe some bright spots by about one, two o'clock, and then we'll see a little sun towards the tail end of the day today. So today the rain ends, the clouds linger into the afternoon. Tomorrow, cool, mainly dry, nothing more than a spot shower. A nice day on tap for tomorrow, and just about every day this upcoming week is looking decent. We're not calling for any big rainstorms or anything like that. Uh, the wettest time is right now. You can see, though, the bulk of that heavy rain shifting to the east on into Worcester County. Look to the west. Lots of clouds left behind. Maybe a leftover spot shower and some pockets of drizzle as we go through the morning as the area of low pressure associated with the rain shifts off to the east. Here's our future cast at 8 o'clock this morning. Cloudy skies, damp conditions. As we go into the afternoon, the clouds will break a little bit, giving way to perhaps some sunshine. Not a ton, but a little bit. Can't roll out a stray shower, but most of the afternoon is going to be dry. We'll continue drying out as we go into the overnight tonight and tomorrow sun and clouds maybe a spot shower in the afternoon is some energy a little bit of moisture moves on through but for the most part we're looking good so drying out cool today some sun later on middle and upper 50s to perhaps lower 60s by this afternoon it's kind of that cool feel the wind will be light maybe moderate coming in out of the northwest at about 5 to 15 miles an hour highs up and down the valley today in the lower 60s to right around that 60 degree mark then tonight we'll see partial clearing and it'll be chilly 35 to about 40 degrees to start tomorrow but for tomorrow itself sun and clouds, maybe a evening spot shower, most stay dry, lower 60s, and notice no big rainstorms, just seasonably cool temperatures to start this week. By the end of the week, we're up near 70 degrees, so we're actually looking pretty good this week. I think the best day will probably be Thursday, maybe wall-to-wall -wall sunshine with temps in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. All right, that's your forecast. We'll have another look in a few minutes. Jordan and Taylor, to you. Thank you, Dan. We'll cross the state now to Leicester, where a quiet Mother's Day morning was shattered when a gunman drove a car into the police station. The driver of that SUV crashed into the lobby and then was shot.